reading from the book of Exodus. Moses turned and came down from the mountain with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, tablets that were written on both sides, front and back, tablets that were made by God, having inscriptions on them that were engraved by God himself. Now, when Joshua heard the noise of the people shouting, he said to Moses, That sounds like a battle in the camp. But Moses answered, It does not sound like cries of victory, nor does it sound like cries of defeat. The sounds that I hear are cries of revelry. As he drew near the camp, he saw the calf and the dancing. With that, Moses' wrath flared up, so that he threw the tablets down and broke them in the base of the mountain. Taking the calf they had made, he fused it in the fire and then ground it down to powder, which he scattered on the water and made the children of Israel drink. Moses asked Aaron, what did these people ever do to you that you should lead them into so grave a sin? Aaron replied, Let not my Lord be angry. You know well enough how prone the people are to evil. They said to me, Make us a God to be our leader. As for the man Moses who brought us out from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. So I told them, Let anyone who has gold jewelry take it off. They gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and this calf came out. On the next day, Moses said to the people, You have committed a grave sin. I will go up to the Lord then. Perhaps I may be able to make atonement for your sin. So Moses went back to the Lord and said, Ah, this people has indeed committed a grave sin in making a god of gold for themselves. If you would only forgive their sin, if you will not, then strike me out of the book that you have written. The Lord answered, Him only who has sinned against me will I strike out of my book. Now, go and lead the people to the place I have told you. My angel will go before you. When it is time for me to punish, I will punish them for their sin. Responsorial Psalm Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adorned a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. They forget the Lord who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Then He spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, His chosen one, withstood Him in the breath to turn back His destructive wrath. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Another parable put he forth unto them, 
saying, The kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds, but when it is grown it is the greatest among herbs, and becometh a tree, so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. Another parable spake he unto them, The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened. All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables, and without a parable spake he not unto them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables, I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. What would you feel if someone who, through your help in many forms, and to do it, you have to sacrifice a lot just to help the person to be where she is at the moment. Yet you found out that one day, everything that you did for her was not appreciated. Instead, she disowns you as a friend. Being betrayed or being disowned is a very painful experience. Perhaps we can relate well with the experience of Moses in today's first reading. We know that the event prior to the event of today's first reading, Moses was up on the mountain to talk to God, where God would finally give the Ten Commandments written in the two tablets. However, the people became impatient. They already wanted to worship God. So they asked Aaron to make for them a God whom they can worship. And through Aaron, they worshiped the golden calf. Aaron was the first person to be blamed. Certainly, anybody in the place of Moses would have reacted in the same way Moses reacted when he saw the people worshipping the golden calf. He flared up that he destroyed the golden calf. But in spite of this, Moses continued to love his people. He asked God for forgiveness on behalf of the people. He placed himself in solidarity with his people that he was even willing to give up the role that God gave him just to save the people from God's anger. He was ready to be rejected by God if that was the only way to gain God's forgiveness for the great sin of the Israelites. This is indeed a beautiful image for us to learn. Usually, when we find ourselves in a situation of conflict, we tend to pretend not being guilty, and so we want to appear innocent, even if, in reality, we are not completely innocent. We don't mind or we don't want to share the punishment of the guilty. We always want to appear good and blameless, when in fact, if we really want to be pleasing to God and to be at peace with our conscience, we should exactly do what Moses did. We must be in solidarity with the sinners because we ourselves are sinners in the first place. In this case, we can be effective mediators between God and others. God is always pleased with the humble but he does not favor the arrogant. Let us learn from the example of Moses to be always in solidarity with a community with the purpose of living in peace and unity and to be humble in front of God.
let us pray. O Jesus, make an humble of heart, hear me, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Amen.